you Jesus with our song Jesus thank you for everything you have to done for us until today we still can we are dream we can uh, hear listen your words because we, uh, we are really need your word Jesus because your words is like a lamp for our our step our our life Jesus Jesus Lord thank you now we prepare we are ready to hear the testimony or your sermon. In the name of Jesus, we are praying. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Okay, today we'd like to hear a testimony from two of our brothers. Uh, one is, is, is given by uh, our Iwan. Iwan, Iwan, and then after that, I give time to Tongam, Tongam, who live in Sulawesi. Okay, I give you uh, Iwan first to give testimony. Yeah. Thank you, Pak Sur Bhakti. Uh, yeah. yeah, good morning, everybody. Good morning, good morning. 
praise the Lord that I can have all of you here this morning. Uh, yeah, my name is A1. Uh, if you can see my name, E-W-A-N. Uh, but please do not forget, uh, do not add letter H. Uh, because in Bahasa Indonesia, it become animal. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, there, there are few things that um, I would like to uh, introduce myself first. Uh, I am I am in the travel agent industry uh, since officially since 2005, but I started my help. Uh, I helped my sister in this business since 1999, so it's already 21 years old. Uh, 21 years for 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 me to do in the in the business, and uh, as we all know, the pandemic hit the tourism business very hard. That's true. Uh, and yeah, I I I used to have. Uh, 12 staff uh, but since the pandemic hits uh, I'm trying to to keep my staff uh, for the first three months so mm -hmm. until May I think uh, I still keep those staff uh, because I I got the information uh, there is analysis uh, that the pandemic will end in June 2000, uh, 2020, I mean. Mm. Uh, but actually, it is not end yet. Uh, even uh, the pandemic, the crisis is getting, uh, getting hard for us. Uh, excuse me, I think my signal is not... I don't know whether you can hear us, hear me. Yeah. Go ahead, go ahead, yeah. Okay, okay. And then uh, when when the uh, in June that we expected before to have some groups uh, because of the school holiday in June, um, but the reality uh, is not as what we expected. So. Uh, at that time, I have to release uh, four staff uh, that is newly joined. So they are working like uh, for a few months only. Uh, but thank God that they they can they can find some other jobs uh, uh, near their home. Uh, one of my staff even he make a new business selling noodle. Uh, with the family uh, and then still at that time we expected the business will start again in October uh, but the reality uh, not that good so uh, I thank God that at that time I got a license to open a courier service, uh, Tiki. I think you all know Titi Pankilat. Yeah? Mm -hmm. So I can I can move my staff to to run this business, uh, and uh, so far it runs well. Uh, the the volume of the business is increasing. Uh, and then we we also at that time we 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 started to sell like hand sanitizer, uh, uh, ginger, ginger, and then some other stuff, uh, vacuum cleaner. Uh, we tried to do everything that we can uh, to to help uh, our company. Uh, to maintain our staff, uh, well, it is not the the revenue or the income is not covering 
uh, all our costs actually still at that time uh, but I always thank God that until now for one year the pandemic is with us uh, we still can survive we still can survive uh, and then uh, for for some uh, reason some uh, a few of my old clients uh, contacted me uh, I used to work for the bank for nine years since 1993 and uh, at the time that uh, it was last year in September uh, somebody called me hey Ewan can you help me to uh, restructuring the the loan because uh, I cannot make a deal with the, the bank so I came to him and met him uh, and then I said okay I will study all the facility and the collateral and the loan structure. Uh, I thank God that I can help him to make a good deal with the bank and I got a good payment from him. Uh, that's also helped me to, to survive to, uh, for the company because uh, I still keep maintaining six of my staff at the time. Uh, even though I have to reduce the salary, uh, but they can still get uh, some money for uh, monthly uh, costs of them. So, yeah, so far, I feel that uh, the I feel that God always helped me in a very difficult situation. Mm. Uh, I sometimes crying. Uh, what should I do to to keep my staff in the company? And then uh, for next month, uh, where is the source of income? Uh, I already spent my saving also uh, to 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 keep maintaining my staff, uh, and also even I have to lowering my uh, I, I or I have to really be careful in spending money. Um, but uh, God is always here, always with me. Uh, Suddenly, somebody contact me. Ewan, can you please help me to do this? Or Ewan, can you please help me to do that? Uh, yeah, praise the Lord. He is. He is always helping me. Uh, for 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 walking or for facing this situation. Uh, I believe that the same God will also lead me, uh, even though. I do not know what will be in the near future for the tourism industry, uh, but I believe God is always uh, lead me to to walk uh, day by day. I have to depend on Him uh, to to uh, to do this and that uh, in my daily life. So far. God is always good, and I believe that. I think that's from me. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much, uh, Iwan, for a wonderful testimony you've given to us. And now I give for the second person, uh, Tongam Samosir. It's your turn now. Yes. Shalom, brothers and sisters. Shalom. Thank God for this opportunity that... Pastor Subakti given to me. Uh, I am surprising because I see in this screen my big brother, brother Ricky Tia. We don't we don't know 
uh, we are in, meet in this Zoom, but I'm very glad to see him. He's from Singapore. Uh, you know, I believe God has a purpose in every step in our life. Amen. I just want to share how the Lord is good to me since 1997 when I left Medan and actually I wanted to get a job in Bandung and my father said to me, okay, you cannot stay in this village, you have to go because you already finished your senior high school. So as you know, Batak people like to, to go, you know, <laughs> to find something, you know, for the future. Yeah, but at the time, I was confused actually because I I was attended a church. I'm a, from Christian family, but I didn't really know what is uh, the what 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 is a, a newborn you know you know born in the spirit you know. So I took a bus, very old bus. I still remember the bus called. Corona, not Corona, ya. Yeah. Corona. <laughs> yeah. Belong to Karo people. Yes. So three days, three nights, you know, from Medan to Bandung. So I was about 18 years old, and I met my sister there in 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 Bandung with her family. So I asked my dad, Father, can you give me chance to go to university? So he said, Okay, if you can get. Uh, government university, I can support you, but if the if you get the private one, we don't have money. Yeah. So I try to prepare myself, go to tuition center, you know, for three times actually, because many people in my village say if you go to Bandung, you have to study in ITB Institute Technology Bandung, the only very famous university. If you go to it, it uh, ITB. Your future will be great, but if you go to another university, people will question you. So <laughs> this is something challenged me, yeah. And then one of my uh, friend came to me, as you know, uh, as an evangelist. This brother uh, tried to persuade me and to 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 ask me to join to the uh, youth meeting at the time in 1998, yeah. So eight time actually, I refused to go to this meeting because I said, I'm a Christian. I don't need all this. Yeah. So for the, I think 10th, for the 10th time, he came again and then I feel bad. You know, this brother came so far, just want to visit me, to encourage me and to take me to the meeting. So finally, I joined the meeting in Bandung. There is one very cool place called Lembang. So we have retreat there, yeah. Uh, and then I see young men, young young people. You know, they are clap hands. They are very happy, enjoy. You know, and worship the Lord. Now I understand why they are very <laughs> cheerful, very happy at the time because the spirit of God within them. So I challenge God. You know, Lord, if you are truly a real God, come to me. Yeah. Because for four years, when I was in my village with my father and mother, they already they actually uh, practicing dukun, like you know they can heal people. Yeah, you know, I I, I confused, but they still go to the church. Yeah, <laughs> so in Lembang, I asked God one time, Lord, if you are really here, come to me. You know what happened, brothers and sisters. Somebody come to touch my hair, you know, and then continue to my toes, to my leg. And then I feel something in my heart, you know. And I understand now, Jesus said to me at the time, I am Jesus because you invite me, so I come to you. At that moment in 1998, I give my life to Jesus. I was born again, filled by his spirit. So that's the uh, life began to see, to understand how God is good to prepare even the past to make us become a good person, become a, 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 a great future, you know. So this is something that I learned at the time. Now, 
after 22 years, I realized how God is faithful to me. And even right now, as I do some ministry in the field, I realized that because of his grace. So this is something that uh, I learned. Although sometimes I put God is last priority, you know, but he still loved me. He still uh, continued to, to bless my life. And in, nine, in 2002, after I finished my study from, uh, I, finally I studied in Pajajaran University. So I finished my Pajajaran University. So uh, I start ministry to the uh, students among the university. So God called me uh, to start a meeting, a discipleship class in Pajajaran University. And 2002, God called me again to Batam and uh, from Batam, I learned a lot how young people uh, got prepared to, to, to harvest the soul. Many people call by God to, 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 to minister to another people. So uh, that's how I, I'm now. I'm ministering in Kendari. Uh, I start a local church. We are train people to go to the mission field, especially to the unreached people group in Indonesia, is East Indonesia particularly. And in our province itself, we have 20 uh, tribes. They never heard even once, who is Jesus in the islands, you know, in the remote area. So in the last 12 years, uh, God called me to, to reach out to this uh, island of Sulawesi. but. All my experience in the past become my strength because now I'm involved in the youth. I encourage student university. I encourage student in the senior high school to take this burden, to take this vision, to bring the gospel to many nations. Because I believe every one of us has a calling. Although some of you, we are doing a business, we are doing full-time ministry, all of us, the same. We are doing in the mission field because God called us in the marketplace already. So, so no matter what, what, what happened uh, that we have challenged right now in our life, I believe that God has a purpose for everything. So now uh, we continue to reach out to the, the people in Kendari, especially for the Sulawesi. Uh, recently, uh, we went to Mamuju to help the people of the victims there. So we recently also last year, we went to some of the disasters uh, places that uh, they really need help. So God allowed this to happen so that we may able to share the love of God to the people. So this is some my testimony that I want to encourage you, whatever that we are faced right now, believe, trust him that he will do for our good. So this is my short testimony. Thank you for this opportunity again, brothers and sisters in Christ. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. Okay, thank you, Tongam, for good testimony you give us. Before uh, listening uh, the word of God from the speaker today, uh, from Pastor Robert, yeah? Pastor Robert Tarigan, yeah? Tarigan, who can speak today. The word of God. So I, I still give time to our new participant who joined today. Yeah, I give time to Ricky, Ricky Tia. Yeah, and then followed by Martinus Teja. And then the last one, I give time to Matthews Bukit. Just for a minute, it's one of you. Just introduce yourself, your name, your address. Yeah. And what do you do every day? Okay, start with Ricky Tia. It's your time to introduce yourself. Yeah. Open your mic, please. Yeah. Again. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 My name is Ricky. I'm based in Singapore. I worship at Mennonite mm. Singapore under Dr. Tan Kok Bing. Mm. Uh, my passion is to, uh, to uh, you know, walk, uh, to walk along with my mini uh, missionary all over in Indonesia and other parts of the world. Yeah, that's my part of my thing. I'm retired already. We started to go. 
uh, to go out to the mission field to, to encourage my missionary last year. But unfortunately, because of the CB, I cannot, but I do local ministry to the local people. So I share people, visit people, people need help, people need blessing. Yeah, so that's what I did at the moment. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you, Ricky. For next meeting, I give you time to give testimony. Okay, next meeting. Okay, the, I give time to Martin Steja. Just introduce yourself, Martin Steja. Thank you, Pak Subaki. Uh, I'm Martinus. Actually, my, my name is Martinus Sugiarto Teja Wijaya. This is the short uh, family name with Teja Wijaya. And I'm is, uh, from GDI Mawasaron, Papa Gading. I'm uh, live in Jakarta, especially in Papa Gading. And now I uh, like, uh, you know, my pastor. Uh, Jacob Nawe is just passed away, and this uh, uh, my uh, mentor also since uh, I was young. Then I work uh, especially in Jakarta. I work for uh, as a chief representative officer for Luen Fook Medicine in Singapore. I'm a chief representative officer for the product of the Kelapa Laut. So, Papa Laut, or uh, uh, the name of his name is uh, African Sipo Guna Thank you very much. This is the short uh, shot of the uh, knowledge, short uh, message from me. Thank you, Pak Subarki. Thank you, thank you. The last one I give uh, to Martin, Mar Matthews Bukir. Yeah, just introduce yourself, yeah. Yeah, just mention your name. Yeah, or what do you do every day? Yeah. Okay. Uh, good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah. Uh, I'd like to introduce myself. My name is uh, Matthew Tomaja Bukit. I live in Lido, uh, Lido near Bogor, uh, West Java. Uh, I work for our own company uh, named uh, PT Bukit Jaya Utama. Uh, we do our business in uh, tire business, especially for uh, mover tire or heavy equipment tires. Uh, maybe it is the first uh, in, uh, introduce for me thank you very much okay thank you very much for uh, sharing uh, something about what you do every day so now i give time to uh, pastor robert to, to speak about the word of god yeah so pastor robert it's your time now to speak Okay, uh, I will do share screen. Uh, let me see which one is this one. I think this one. Uh, can you see my yes. share screen? Yes. Okay. Uh, let us pray first. Yeah. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you, Lord, for this opportunity to have fellowship together with our brothers and sisters. Thank you, Father, for this uh, privilege that you have given to us, Lord. And Lord, as we read your words, we pray that you will guide us, open our hearts, open our minds, Lord, speak to us, Lord. Use your servant, Lord, uh, to preach your words. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. We come to you. We praise you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Uh, can I ask one of us here to read from Isaiah 49, verse 1 to 6?
Uh, yes, Isaiah 49 verse 1 to 6. Anybody can read it, please? Hello? Isaiah 49, 1 to 6. Yes, please. Thank you. Congram. Listen to me, you islands. Hear this. You distant nations, before I was born, the Lord called me. From my mother's womb, he has spoken my name. He had made my mouth like a serpent's sword in the shadow of his hand. He hit me. He made me into a police arrow and concealed me in his quiver. He said to me, you are my servant Israel, in whom I will display my splendor. But I said, I have labor in pain. I have spent my strength for nothing at all. Yet who is due me is in the Lord's hand, and my reward is my God. And now the Lord said, he who formed me in the womb to be his servant, to bring Jacob back to him and gather Israel to himself, for I am honor in the eyes of the Lord, and my God has been my strength. He says, it is too small a thing. It is a small a, a thing for you to be my servant to restore the tribes of Jacob and bring back those of Israel I have kept. I will also make you a light for the Gentiles that my salvations may reach to the ends of the earth. Thank you, Patong Ham, for reading the word of God. Our... Uh, theme this morning is the arrow. Uh, it is taken from uh, verse uh, 2 of Isaiah 49. I will uh, uh, read again that part. He made me into a polished arrow and concealed me in his quiver. Uh, as introduction, uh, this passage talks about the servant of the Lord who is God's instrument to accomplish his purpose. The arrow speaks of first Jesus the Messiah. If we read from verse 1, uh, Listen to me, you islands. Hear this, you distant nations. Before I was born, the Lord called me from my birth. He has made mention of my name. Let's speak about Jesus. Uh, he was called by God uh, to become his servant. And also speaks about Israel as the, uh, a nation. Um, in uh, verse 3, he said to me, You are my servant, Israel, in whom I will display my splendor. And thirdly, uh, the arrow also speaks about the church and the individual believer. Jesus said uh, in John 17, 18, As you, Father, send me into the world, I have sent them into the world. Uh, there are three parts of the arrow. As a devotional thought, the three parts of the arrow could be interpreted as follows. The first one is the tip that speaks about the ministry skills. And the second one, the self, that speaks about the, the, the character, our character. And the third is the flight. Uh, it speaks about the sensitivity to the leading of the Holy Spirit. And the uh, bullseye of God's purposes, God's mission, and our part in it. In verse uh, 6, it is uh, 
said that uh, it is too small a thing for you to be my servant to restore the tribes of Jacob and bring back those of Israel I have kept. I will also make you a light for the Gentiles that you may bring my salvation to the ends of the earth. Our mission is to bring uh, God's salvation to the ends of the earth, to uh, all the people groups who have been created by the Lord. Um, I praise the Lord personally. The Lord uh, called me to become a missionary. Uh, my first target was uh, Pakistan. I applied twice my visa to go to Pakistan, but until now there is no answer. Uh, I was able to go there in 1983 for four months, tried to work uh, to get the visa from inside the country, but I was not successful also. Uh, so I was able to learn Urdu for four months. Uh, but uh, although only for four months in Pakistan, in every weekend we go to the villages, preach the gospel with the late Reverend Victor Dean. And many people believe in the Lord. Many people accepted the Lord. So even though only for four months, uh, I was glad I was able to go and preach the gospel to many Pakistanis. And then the Lord uh, called us, uh, brought us to the Philippines for five and a half years uh, in Sambuanga City. Uh, but then uh, we have to escape, uh, to run away from Sambuanga City because the Abu Sayyab <laughs> were after our lives. They were able to kill two of our friends, our radio announcer and uh, the technician of the uh, studio, uh, FBBC in Sambuanga City. That was 1992. Before that, uh, one year before that, uh, uh, they killed uh, two of the Dulo ship uh, crew and injured uh, 40 people. Uh, so uh, they are very serious. They were very serious in trying to uh, uh, kick out uh, the missionaries from Samoga City. Uh, and then we uh, stayed in Metro Manila for seven, seven years. And together with the church, we started a small church the Indonesian congregation in Metro Manila. Uh, together with the church, we went to Batangas to start our ministry among the Bajos. And praise the Lord, uh, up to now, we have a missionary there, uh, Miss Kencanawati, who continue our work. Uh, she is sending uh, 65 uh, children, uh, Bajo children uh, to school and uh, many already graduated uh, even from college and two of them are now studying uh, in our Bible uh, college in uh, West Kalimantan. Praise uh, the Lord. Praise the Lord. Uh, they will be the one to continue again the work there uh, among the Bajos. Uh, let us continue. Uh, part B, different kinds of error. The, the first one, the ideal error, uh, who has uh, a, a sharp pointed tip and be a straight uh, sharp and see excellent uh, flight. These are people with well-developed ministry skills, good character, and are led by the Holy Spirit. 
uh, of course all of us would like to be like this arrow uh, the ideal arrow of god but uh, the uh, some some servants of the lord have this character issue yeah so uh, lack of christ like character will not hit the mark and may even hinder the unreached in coming to christ and causing relationship problems in a team situations yeah some uh, maybe uh, like to tell uh, tell a lie you know, and uh, make uh, the teams uh, will be uh, prejudiced to each other uh, or distrust will happen uh, or uh, some some servant of the Lord uh, are lazy <laughs> uh, they like to uh, sleep uh, more <laughs> rather than waking up uh, reading the bible uh, praying to the lord yeah. so it will hinder un the unreached people groups in coming to christ and causing uh, relationship problems in the team situations and the next one is uh, ministry skills issue yeah uh, the servants of the lord may have a good character uh, very sensitive to, to the holy spirit but uh, his ministries their ministry skills are poor yeah uh, we should uh, uh, the ministry gifts from the lord must be allowed to develop into ministry skills we should see the major our major gifts from the lord uh, one time uh, before we uh, we went to the philippines our uh, president uh, the late uh, reverend dr octavianus called me to his office uh, there was an in, invitation from singapore uh, a church needs a pastor uh, needs a shepherd and uh, the late reverend dr uh, petrus octavianus asked me do you have a gift of pastoring and i told him uh, please ask my classmate uh, or my friends my, uh, my our staff here uh, do i have uh, uh, pastoring gift or not and he he said if you are not sure you have a, a pastoring gift uh, i will not send you to singapore <laughs> So uh, I did not go to Singapore to pastor that church. But uh, when I was in uh, Sambonga City, uh, the Lord gave me an opportunity to be a junior pastor. I was pastoring with the, the late Reverend Florentino de Jesus. He was my senior pastor. And I pastored the church for five years. Uh, and also when we escaped to Manila, I started the church uh, there in Manila among the Indonesians uh, who used to study there or work there. Uh, I pastored that church for uh, five years also. So for 10 years, uh, I was pastoring in the Philippines. So, uh, the Lord gave me, uh, actually, there is a gift of pastoring. But before, it was not so clear. So, our strong minor ministry gifts, 
can be developed yeah as i get the uh, my example as a pastor and maybe we have a weak minor uh, ministry gifts we can develop but if it is not our gifting no need to develop <laughs> Uh, let other people do it. <laughs> yeah. So we have uh, to develop our ministry gifts uh, so that it can become our uh, ministry skills. Uh, I praise the Lord. Uh, the Lord gave me uh, some uh, ministry gifts, yeah, like teaching and. Uh, uh evangelism evangelization uh, praise god uh, also uh, the gift of uh, faith yeah uh, a while ago uh, uh, i was talking with cartina lucy uh, she said uh, I, I i'm glad that your children all of them are serving the Lord. Yeah. You know, uh, we uh, were working together with our children since their childhood, uh, working together uh, in the in the Lord's ministry. And we live by faith. Uh, I praise God that uh, uh, all of them were able to finish their study, their college, by faith, uh, uh, our, our our allowance was not enough uh, to send them to school, uh, but uh, God provided everything that they need. Uh, I just would like to uh, testify now. One time, uh, 1998, uh, you remember there was uh, an economic crisis all over the world. Uh, our uh, Mission body could not send our allowance because uh, the the rate uh, was too low, rupiah so so low. One uh, one dollar was uh, equivalent to twenty thousand rupiah by the time. Yeah, uh, so they were not able to send our allowance, but. God provided the, what we need. Uh, one time, our children need to uh, to pay for their tuition fee. Uh, so we just pray and pray. And uh, what happened? Uh, our uh, neighbor who have gone to uh, gone back to United States. Uh, uh, maybe two years before that uh, situation, uh, remember us. Uh, the way he remember us, uh, he is, they receive uh, uh, what do you call it? Uh, prayer letter of our friends, uh, the late uh, Doctor uh, uh, Brom, Brom, uh, David Royal Brom. Uh, David Royal Brom uh, mentioned in his prayer letter, many missionaries went home because of this crisis. But the Tarigans decided to continue to stay in the Philippines. Please pray for them. So this, uh, our uh, former neighbor, uh, we, we used to stay in the same house. We stay upstairs they stay downstairs uh, they remember us and they send uh, some amount exact uh, exactly the, uh, what our children needs to pay for their tuition fee uh, so many times uh, and that's uh, uh, the, the gift uh, from the lord yeah. uh, living by faith uh, praise god uh, now until now all my children also love the Lord uh, and serving the Lord. Uh, and um, 
the fourth kind of uh, arrow, uh, the damage flight arrow. Uh, uh, some servants of the Lord have a very good uh, ministry skills, very good character, but uh, they are not sensitive to the voice of and the leading of the Holy Spirit. But uh, we do remember in the case of Paul when he was trying to focus uh, preaching the gospel in Asia, Asia Minor, uh, but the Holy Spirit uh, tried to hinder them to do that. And when they they were in Troas, uh, God uh, revealed to to Paul in a dream. And after that, they uh, decided uh, because there was a call, uh, what we call Macedonian call. And from Troas, they went to Macedonia. Uh, part of Europe and from Europe the gospel came to Indonesia yeah? uh, to to Australia and to other parts of the world we praise God because Paul and his team uh, were sensitive to the voice and to the leading of the Holy Spirit the gospel uh, we receive now nowadays we praise God so we need to be sensitive to the voice and the leading of the Holy Spirit in our lives, in our ministry. It says here, the, these people can often display excellent character, good ministry skills, but their sensitivity to the voice of and the leading of the, the Spirit may be missing. We need to have good character, excellent character, good ministry skills, but also we need the sensitivity to the voice and the leading of the Holy Spirit in our lives and ministries. Jesus only did what the Father commanded him and what he saw the Father doing. In John 5, uh, 19, Jesus gave them this answer. I tell you the truth. The son cannot do but nothing by himself. He can do only what he sees his father doing. Because whatever the father does, the son also does. If Jesus himself needs the, the voice and the leading of the Holy Spirit, Spirit, how much more for us? We really need uh, the sensitivity of the voice and the leading of the Holy Spirit in our lives and ministry. In conclusion, uh, the first one, fruitfulness depends on whether we are doing the right thing in the right place, at the right time, and in the right way. Uh, we need the guidance of the Holy Spirit to do that. And secondly, we need uh, the, our ministry skills, character, and sensitivity, sensitivity to the Holy Spirit can and should all be developed in our own culture, in our own lives, uh, and in our local church setting. And also, these areas should be suff sufficiently developed before ministering cross-culturally or before joining a mission agency. Uh, I praise God uh, that uh, the Lord help me and uh, I uh, continuously pray, Lord, help me 
to have uh, good ministry skills, to have good character, and also sensitivity to the voice and the leading of the Holy Spirit in my life and in my ministry. Thank you. May the Lord bless us through these words. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, thank you, Lord, uh, for your words. You have made us as the arrow, Lord. Thank you, Father. Continue to help us, Lord, to have uh, good ministry skills, to have good character, and also the sensitivity to the voice and the leading of the Holy Spirit in our lives, in our ministry, Lord. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Bajo people in Sulawesi, we have about 600,000 people. The cons Bajo people is still considering as unreached people group. So since last 11 years, we are reaching out through education. So we have a... a free educations in the village yeah but thank god they are responded to the gospel because god told us to to do this strategy to make a friendship with them uh, we are become part of their family so my question is when we were in reaching out to bajo people in philippines how how is your strategy what the lord has uh, given you for the strategy to reach them because uh, now you already won some of them and then even to put them in the school, in the college. So I really wanted to know that how the Lord give you the strategy. Thank you, Pastor Robert. Yeah. Thank you so much, uh, Pak Tongham. Uh, uh, you know, we started our ministry among the Bajols in Batangas uh, City. Uh, after the very strong typhoon, uh, happened that hit uh, the Philippines uh, 1994. Uh, uh, so we went there uh, to, to bring helps uh, to the people and uh, started to, you know, uh, to be acquainted with uh, many of them and we are helping them. We were helping them. Uh, you know, the Bajos in the Philippines, uh, many of them are fishermen. Yeah. Uh, but uh, with very simple, uh, like yes. using a hook only. <laughs> yes. Uh, so sometimes we went out uh, to the sea, <laughs> fishing with, together with them. <laughs> uh, so we... Uh, we were trying to teach the children first uh, to teach them uh, how to uh, read and write. You know, we we used to first we used to use the the sun as our blackboard <laughs> because they are living near the uh, seashore. Yeah. Uh, so and then we uh, put up a, a small a simple building. Uh, so we uh, start teaching them. Uh, uh, we call it uh, like TK uh, in Indonesia uh, or uh, kindergarten. Uh, kindergarten. We started uh, started kindergarten there, and I invited uh, my my friend from Sambuanga City, uh, Sama right believer uh, to teach uh, them uh, and so we work together with uh, Fe Sagiran from Sambuanga City uh, so praise God um, uh, although the Bajos uh, at the beginning they did not really value uh, education mm. yeah. <laughs> Sometimes when their uh, children uh, were studying, uh, uh, they call uh, uh, their children home to help them. <laughs> uh, so we did many things. We try uh, help them how to uh, uh, 
brush their teeth, <laughs> how to use soap in the uh, mm. when they are taking bath, and uh, we uh, uh, give uh, we give um, good uh, good uh, nutrition food. Uh, praise God. Uh, uh, we um, we did that for. Uh, 1994 up to 99, so five years. Five years, uh, and then uh, uh, Miss Kencanawati, who is now continuing the work there, uh, because uh, in that small island, uh, uh, that small island was uh, what do you call it, eaten by the the waves, mm. so. Uh, she uh, has to move to uh, the major island, uh, Luzon, uh, mm -hmm. but still in Batangas uh, City, uh, near to that uh, island already missing. Uh, and then uh, put up a, a kindergarten, and now they have also a church uh, beside it. Uh, praise God. Uh, so she is sending 65 children to school now and some of them already graduated from college and two of them are studying in uh, our Bible school in uh, West Kalimantan. Yeah. Uh, praise the Lord for, for that. Uh, uh, many of them already believe in the Lord and Amen. Hallelujah. Uh, serving the Lord. Uh, is that answer your question, Pat Tonghab? Yes, thank you, Pastor Robert. I am blessed by this testimony. Praise yeah. the Lord. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Uh, any more? Any more of you? Yeah, I'll just give you two two more persons and then we close. Two more persons. Okay, let's rest up your hand. Okay, David Wong. Okay, David. Okay, now it's the time. Yeah. Yes. Uh, okay, Pastor Tarigan, just to clarify, the Bajaus are from the south originally, right? That means from the Zambonga, Batangas area. Batangas is part of Philippine main island, right? Is it? Yes, from Luzon, yeah. part of Luzon. Yeah, so the Bajaus go over to uh, this Sabah, which they have an island there, the Bajaus, and they also go up to Sulawesi. So originally, they are actually what you call, uh, what is that? I can't remember the name, huh? Uh, Gypsy, but, yeah, Zam Zamonga, but but they, they are are they what Malays or are they they are Bajaus by are they what Orang Laut as you would say yeah Suku Laut Suku Laut ah uh, Suku Laut they, but you see that's the thing you you have this Orang Laut but uh, you also have Makassar which is the Bugis yes. are they similar in some ways uh the Baj actually the Bajaus uh, who are now in the Philippines. Originally came from Indonesia. Oh, okay. Uh, you so know, historically they, they came. They from are uh, like sea gypsies people. A uh, gypsy, sea gypsies. Yes. Uh, yeah, they so gypsies. they move uh, from one place to another place. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, no, man. So they. And uh, these people are peace loving people. Uh, if uh, they have problem, they have trouble in uh, in one place, they will move to another place. Hmm. But okay. uh, lately, they uh, um, start uh, uh, started staying on, on the island uh, in in Batangas. Okay. Uh, so uh, that's why we started uh, our ministry, uh, uh, helping them in the in their education. All right. Uh, so some of them. Some of them uh, sometimes uh, go back to Sambuanga, go, go back to Malaysia because the Bajos in uh, in Brunei they they have a good life. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah, okay, Brunei, yeah. Yeah, that's right, that's right. Uh, okay. in, in in Brunei, I heard the the Bajos uh, are being respected also. <laughs> Yeah, uh, Brunei is the all rich, yeah, uh, the southern yes, of Brunei. Yes. <laughs> okay, so they have that. But uh, is there any work done in Brunei Bajaus to reach out because they are economically slightly better off? Therefore, uh, it could... um, 
I, my friend before uh, uh, was trying to reach uh, the, uh, the Bajos also in Brunei, but I don't know now. <laughs> mm. Okay. Just, just, just as a rough ballpark figure, totally how many, how many millions are there of Bajos are there, as you said? Totally, roughly. In, uh, <coughs> in Zamonga, in... The, in in the know, Philippines, um, uh, hundreds of thousands of the Bajaos. Only hundred, because imagine Sulawesi, according to Tongnam, it's 600,000, huh? Yes. yes. Uh, all over Sulawesi. Yeah, all, all over Sulawesi. Because there are I know... many, many uh, Muslim tribes uh, of the Philippines, uh, and they are similar to each other, like, like, uh, like the Sama... Uh, uh, Muslims uh, and the Tausuks, the Yakans. Uh, sometimes they are look the same, but uh, the difference, uh, as I said, uh, these uh, Bajos are peace-loving people. They do not like to have trouble with other people. Uh, if there is pro problem, they will they will move to another place like that. That's why they are everywhere in the Philippines. <laughs> okay. I mean, if, if it's okay with you all, after they officially close, I would like to ask Erwan whether he's got time and Tongnam and also uh, uh, Ricky. Ricky, is he, is he still around, Ricky Chia? Because Ricky is doing ministry with this uh, Tangkok Bing, uh, which you know is Mennonite. Is, is Ricky around? No more. He left already. He left already. Oh, my. I just was about to, because this is Singapore style. Yeah, really <laughs> watching. But if I have the time, I would really want to have some fellowship. And of course, Harry and... and and, and Matthews, Matthews, your your room has a bit of echoing, so maybe your speaker or something. Uh, Matthews, you were sharing a little bit about yourself. Hello? Yeah. So, anybody else you want to take? Because let's officially, I don't know, and then maybe unofficially we can take it on if you have the time. Because, Erwan, I, I was quite curious about your travel industry. God really has been so gracious because Singapore is the tourist center and we, we are really suffering. SIA is... Is having one of the hardest time. They're losing quite a big, big chunk of money, but the government is propping them up. But they also trying to do that. So I just want to hear what is being done in your side. So far, the government help for the uh, the unemployee, the the staff that already uh, left the company. Uh, the government has a, a certain fund. Which is uh, six hundred thousand per per month. Uh, well, of course, it's not enough, but at least they 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 got support. Uh, but for those who are still working, uh, uh, the the uh, we at this period we are not uh, working every day. So uh, every employee they work like three days in a week. So they got the half salary. So they can you, you have you have quite interesting internal tourism. Singapore is very small. We are really trying. The government gave us money. In fact, I just went to the zoo. If not, I would be going because he gave us that. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, uh, my my uh, I haven't explained about this. Uh, my 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 focus in the business is, is surfing for the uh, congregation from the church. Uh, to go to Holy Land. Oh, okay. To Israel, oh, Jordan. Israel tour. Yeah. Yeah. So okay. uh, it's mainly for pilgrim. Uh, okay. I would say only uh, uh, or ninety nine percent is for outbound to go outside the country. Uh, oh, we mostly serving the Christian church, uh, but we also have some Catholic church. To visit the Vatican, Lourdes, Fatima. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, the domestic tourism, uh, we almost do not do it. But oh, lately, okay. we 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 also selling uh, the the tour to Bali. Uh, not the tour. We only sell the uh, the hotel room. If my client asking, hey, Ewan, can you please help to book? the uh, Kempinski or uh, another hotel. So we did it. Also for the ticketing. Mm, okay. So there is still very much internal flight. That means is the aircraft 
Are they flying yeah. a lot to intercity? No, it's getting better. No, it's getting better. Yeah, before it's very small number, uh, but no, it's it's growing. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. Our 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 uh, our challenge is uh, sometimes, uh, not sometimes. No, the the booking process is very easy that our client can do directly so they don't need the travel agent yeah that's why with technology now they sort of like <laughs> replace you all but i mean unless you do certain specialized tour like you say you're doing israel and yeah, now yeah. You cannot almost zero uh -huh. and that's a big headache but uh -huh. okay it's really amazing yeah, 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 so yeah, encouraged yeah. to hear that god is but I, I would like to go more but uh because like they say officially they've at end so you uh, can stay yeah. on and fellowship. I would really like to, to have you all uh, fellowship because I thought, but too bad. Uh, uh, because uh, Yong Nam, right? Yong Nam, is he still there? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Because, yeah. You know, uh, Ricky Tia, because Ricky Tia is a missionary from Singapore. And you, I, I think you all heard of uh, Tangkok Bing, right? Uh, yes. Mr. David, can I interrupt you? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh... Today, I give time to Mr. Harry to pray for every one of us. If you have a prayer list request, you may uh, type in the room chat, and then Harry will pray for us. And then I close by uh, uh, blessing prayer. And now is I give time to Harry to pray for every one of us who attend this meeting and then I close. Please, please can we pray for our Kairos course? We will conduct uh, three Kairos uh, courses uh, in Bali, in Jakarta, and also in Medan through Zoom. Uh, please pray this, this uh, month and next month. Okay. Okay. Okay, let us pray. Heavenly Father, we just give you thanks for this morning that we can be in this fellowship. We give you thanks and we uh, bless Brother Ewan and, and Brother Tong Nam who already give their testimony. And also bless Pastor Robert Tarigan who shared the word with, with us. And also bless Pastor Subakti who always conduct this meeting every week. And bless all of us who attend this meeting tonight today this morning bless us with your holy spirit anoint us lord for we need you lord especially during this time of uh, pandemic uh, bless us with the fruit of the spirit your love your joy your peace uh, long suffering goodness kindness faithfulness gentleness and self-control thank you lord that you use us during this time of pandemic to also help others who are in need. Thank you, Lord Jesus. And also bless our governments in Indonesia and also in Singapore as they try to vaccinate the population and also in the economy to revive the economy. And also bless the body of Christ in Indonesia and also in Singapore. And also we pray for Pastor Tarigan's request for his teachings in the Kairos uh, that will be conducted via Zoom in Bali, Jakarta, and in Medan. We pray that you uh, send all the people to attend these teachings so that they will be more well-equipped to be doing the ministry for you. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We surrender all these prayer requests into your mighty hands. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Okay, let's uh, close the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ. And the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. 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 Okay. Uh, if you would like to continue to, to speak to another, I still give you time. Even though, yeah, if what some of you would like to leave this group, you may leave. But if you would like to remain and then you, you would like to talk more details to introduce or whatever you would like to speak, you may uh, stay. Uh, thank you very much.